The role of local libraries has changed a lot in the last 30 years. They have added all kinds of technology, resources, and online learning while still keeping the books. Anoka County Library recently made a fun new addition that is wildly popular. Takazen has the story. Don't call it a comeback. They've been here for years. But board games are now all the rage at Northtown Library. Uh, we were blown away by the response of this, actually. Uh, we had thought it would be popular, but we did not think it would be this popular. So popular that all 30 board games have already been checked out, and it hasn't been that long since they were first introduced. We've had the games for about a week now. Um, we launched them on an international um, tabletop day. That was uh, April 29th. Um, that was our first day with the collection, and um, at the end of that day, over three quarters of them were checked out. Um, and then uh, the following Monday, the rest were checked out. So now we've got a uh, hold list on them currently. Uh, the collection consists of about 30 games. Um, and they've been uh, very popular so far, and we'll wait to see if um, demand continues to be <laughs> quite high. So in this new technology and internet age, why push for board games? We decided to add the games because the patrons are always, our, our patrons are always asking for uh, new and innovative services. Um, so one of our staff members actually uh, is a very big gamer, um, and they took, it, um, uh, took the initiative here and uh, developed a proposal, got some uh, logic outcomes, um, and did some research on what other libraries are doing in this area. And besides just obviously being fun to play, board games actually help reach different learning outcomes like critical thinking, problem solving, and just plain old communication. That interaction piece um, is something that you can't always get on electronics, um, that talking to the person across the table from you, um, working on a cooperative game together, um, are things that you don't always find in electronic media, so they have that unique appeal. So let's say you and a group of friends want to check them out. How would you go about it? Well, you check it out just like a book. Um, you can come to Northtown or even go to your, uh, any other library branch and request it be sent there. Um, and we'll send it on up and hold it for you at that building. Um, but once you get the item, uh, there is a uh, barcode on each one and an RFID tag on each one, which is how we check things out electronically now. Um, you just bring it over to the checkout machine, put it down on the pad, give it your library card, and it checks out the item for you. Although the games are targeted to teenagers and young adults, they seem to have a pretty wide appeal. Some of the indie games include Exploding Kittens, Forbidden Island, and the most popular, Ticket to Ride, with five holds for the next checkout. Andrew, however, has a different favorite. My favorite game that we have is probably Splendor. Um, it's a game about being a uh, gym dealer in Venice. Um, so you build, you buy mines, um, you collect gems, and you get all these gems in front of you, and you start hoarding them up, and then you spend them to buy more mines. And it's just about um, building a bigger and bigger capitalist base. And with all the buzz, I'm sure community members will develop their favorites very soon. For North Metro TV, Taka Zen reporting. You can check out the complete collection of games online or put a hold on a specific game that you would like to try. We have the link on our website, northmetrotv.com.